Welcome to Defensive BFM. Today I'm flying in Sedlow's amazing BFM trainer. I put the link in the description if you want to check it out. The mission will let you spawn a bandit on your 6 o'clock, making it great for repeatable practice. Defensive BFM is probably one of the most demanding types of flying in DCS. It's really hard to keep tally during the maneuvering and extremely easy to mess up. Hope you enjoy. First fight is against the flanker. I'm checking my six to uh, get tally on the bandit. Seeing is pulling lead. Changing my lift vector con constantly. Getting out of his guns was able to force the overshoot. Now I'm on the offensive. Apologies in advance for my poor aim. Finally, splash one. Next up is the MiG-29. Again, trying to look over my shoulder to see if it pulls lead, it does. Trying to change my lift vector again, so we can't get a gun solution. Unload and change lift vector again. Winds and repeat. Do not quite get the overshoot here, but we start to get in uh, rolling scissors, descending. Bugs out, and I'm uh, in the two circle. Another flanker is going low beneath the clouds, but since this is a practice uh, mission, I'm uh, going to let him get back on my six. Start defending now. Trying to see if he's in true pursuit, lag or lead. He's pulling lead. Getting out of plane, changing my lift vector, reducing my speed. Going across my tail, overshoot. Let's turn and burn. Splash one. Against the Viper this time. He's going low. Not sure why they do that, but AI doing AI things. 
allowing him to reposition on my uh, on my tail so I can get better practice. Now I start defending. Good thing this is not real life. Would have probably broke my neck keeping my head this uh, in this position. But <laughs> gotta do what I gotta do. time against the Hornet is probably one of the most challenging fights because they can stay inside my turn circle so it's really hard to to Altitude. jink Altitude. because of the high AOA of the Hornet. Now it begins, I try to change my lift vector, unload, change again, manage to dodge some bullets, and then force the overshoot. It's up to my poor uh, game skills to finish the job. Got a few hits, but uh, became too confident. And he forced the overshoot on me. Now I'm in the one circle with the Hornets, so and low. Bad place to be, and this is where my fails start. Hope you enjoy. Here's an example of what a bad reversal looks like. I misjudged his closing speed. He did not overshoot. Now I lost sight. Now I'm slow. Is again, he's pulling lead. I'm too slow to jink. That's it. Get out. In this fight, I'm too late with the auto play maneuver. So it's going to pull lead, and I'm not quick enough making the adjustment. Great. Got sniped. And this time I'm too slow to jink. This is pulling lead. Jink too late. Game over. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my wins and losses.